We've got a brand new impact wrench in, and you may not have heard of them before, but they've been around a long time. Let's see what it's got. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. We've got the Durofix half inch 20 volt brushless impact wrench. Model number is the RI20174. Now, as I mentioned, half inch impact. It's kind of in that mid torque range, if you will, at least in the size it is, as well as they're claiming 590 foot pounds of loosening torque and up to 300 plus foot pounds of fastening torque. Not only that, they've got some cool features that others don't. Now let's dive right in, take a closer look at these features, then take it over to the test bench and actually see if it lives up to what they claim. We have the Durofix 20 volt brushless half inch impact wrench. Now the model number on this is the RI20174. Now this little guy is really somewhere in between, I would say a compact and a mid torque impact wrench, probably in that mid torque range. And the numbers actually put it there as well. So should be a pretty impressive little tool if it actually lives up to the numbers they're claiming, especially with the small two amp hour battery. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a 20 volt, two amp hour, so obviously that's gonna be a, a max charge 20 volt. Uh, nominal charge is probably gonna be around that 18 volt range, uh, but still got that lithium ion battery driving that. Now here's some of the details on this that really make this stand out from a typical impact wrench. Uh, number one, they're claiming uh, 369 foot pounds of fastening torque. So from this little guy, 369 foot pounds. Now they're also claiming 590 foot pounds of loosening torque. That's a big number there. So if we can get anywhere close to that, that's gonna be a, a big number for this tool to hit, especially for the price range. And we'll go over that in just a moment. Now you'll see here down here on the tool, we have multiple speeds. In fact, we have three different speeds and not just speed. So first let's go over the speeds. We got speed one, two, and three. In speed one, you're gonna get zero to 1500 RPMs because we do get a variable speed trigger. So you'll see here, I can make this go about as slow as I want to. And then wide open in speed one is gonna be 1500 RPMs. Now in speed two, Again, we can use that variable speed trigger and we're going zero to 1800 RPMs. And then in speed three, we're gonna get up to 2000 RPMs. Actually, I think it's 2100, but anyway, 2000 or 2100 RPMs. Now impacts per minute on this is all the way up to 3000. So again, variable speed trigger, those impacts are gonna vary with how much throttle input you're giving it, but zero to 3000 impacts per minute. Now here's the really big one here. Not only do we have speeds here, but there's also some numbers down here. And basically these are torque modes. So Durofix is saying, you know what? These are going to actually be more precise than just your typical speed one, two, and three. On speed one, they're claiming that it's going to shut off at 73 foot pounds. So not just limit the torque input, it's actually gonna shut the tool off at 73 foot pounds at speed two, 221 foot pounds. In other words, when it gets up to 221 foot pounds, it's going to shut the tool off. So not only does it have torque control, it's also going to have auto shut off in speed one and two. And then speed three, it's going to be a max of 369 foot pounds. So it's not going to shut off at that point, but it's going to have a max input of 369 foot pounds. So this would be very interesting if it lives up to the claims anywhere near what they're claiming there. We're going to test that. We'll test not only max input as well as max output or max uh, removal, uh, bolt removal, but we're also gonna test um, those auto shutoff features and see if we're getting anywhere close to those numbers. Really and truly, most important thing, make sure we're not going over those numbers because that's when we're torquing something down, we'll typically come back with a torque wrench to finish that off, but we just wanna make sure that we're not going past our threshold. Now, when you buy this tool, you get it as a kit with the one two amp hour battery and the charger, and it is a made in Taiwan tool. Both the battery itself is made in Taiwan as well as the tool um, made in Taiwan as well. So not made in China, made in Taiwan. Before we send this over and test it, uh, let's get some measurements on this. So basic measurements, you're right at about nine inches tall uh, with the two amp hour battery on there. 
and from tip to tail, from the front of the anvil to the back of the tool, you're right at about six and a half inches, just a smidge over uh, six and a half inches. And then as far as width of the tool, uh, the widest point, two and three eighths of an inch. So, or no, that'd be two and five eighths of an inch. So almost two and three quarter inches wide. So still a pretty small tool for the torque output they're claiming. And then as far as weight goes, we're going to be three pounds, six ounces. And again, that's with the battery on there. So less than four pounds with the claims of hitting almost 400 foot pounds, tightening and almost 600 loosening. So let's see if it does it. Did I mention that the Durafix Mid-Torque Impact has features on it not seen in other Mid-Torque Impact wrenches? Well, it does. Did I also mention that you can easily subscribe to our channel and get notifications so that you know whenever we drop a new video, which is pretty much daily. Why don't you try it? Okay, here's the first thing we're going to do. We got it in uh, mode one, which is the torque control mode for 73 foot-pounds. It's also supposed to auto shut off. So we're not gonna run it for a certain amount of time. We're gonna just let it run until it actually shuts the tool off. That's what's supposed to happen. We have a full battery. So we have a full battery on our 20 volt, two amp hour. So let's see what we have. Make sure we're in Titan mode. Yeah, we're in Titan mode. And here we go. And again, I'm gonna pull the trigger and hold it until it shuts off. All right, so the tool already shut off. See my finger is still on the trigger. The next one, same thing. So again, my finger is still on the trigger and it ran until it shut off, just took a few seconds. So again, 73 foot pounds, mode one. And again, finger is still on the trigger. Okay, now I'm going to go into mode two, which is 221 foot pounds. So this is supposed to run up to 221 foot pounds and then shut the tool off. So again, I'm not going to do a time limit. I'm going to run it until it shuts off. So here we go on mode two. Okay, again, finger is still on the trigger. So it shut the tool off. Mode two. And again, finger still on the trigger. And by the way, I'm holding this with like two fingers here. So again, finger still on the trigger, so it's automatically shutting it off. Now let's take our torque wrench. Now, here's the thing. We know our torque wrench is gonna show less value removing these than it is for tightening, but it still should give us a window of where this thing tightened to. Okay, here we go. Mode one, 73 foot-pounds. Loosening, 39.8 foot-pounds. 36.9 foot-pounds. 54.6 foot-pounds. So we were definitely below that threshold of 73 foot-pounds. So let's go what's supposed to be 221. 112.6 to break that free. 126.4 and 154.3. So what we got, the first three were supposed to be torqued to, or not be over 73 foot pounds. And we got 39.8, 36.9 and 54.6 foot pounds on loosening these. Again, we know it only takes about 80% of, uh, of the torque to loosen something as it does to tighten it. Now, these were supposed to be torqued to not any more than 221 foot-pounds. We got 112.6, 126.4, and 154.3 for loosening these. Now, some of you may, may say, you know what, that's not really that close to, to what they're claiming. Here's the important thing to me is that we're not over fastening these because I'm always going to come back with a torque wrench and set my torque on a fastener. Again, I think it's very important that we're not going over those numbers and we haven't done so. We haven't even got close to that, but yet it's still get, getting it in that window and shutting that fastener down or shutting that impact wrench down before it's going into a critical phase. Now we're gonna go into mode three and just run a couple of these and see if we max out our torque wrench. So we're gonna run it for 10 seconds. Oh, 
Okay, so that's supposed to be 369 foot-pounds of fastening torque. So we should max out our 250 foot-pound torque wrench here. So it looks like that broke free at somewhere north of 220. So I'm gonna reset this at 250 foot-pounds. That broke free at 193.8. And that one was 230 foot-pounds breaking that free. So probably on the tightening force, we're probably in the 300 foot-pound range. Okay, now to test the loosening force, the max loosening force of the Durafix uh, mid-torque impact wrench, we're going to tighten these fasteners down to specified ranges. So we're gonna start at 150 foot-pounds, we're going to go 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, and 450 foot-pounds. We're going to use our calibrated torque gun to do it. And then we're going to back these fasteners off with the Durafix tool. Okay, we're gonna make sure that we got a full battery. Yes, we have a full battery. We're going to go into speed mode three. So max output basically. And uh, we'll make sure we're in reverse mode. So 150 foot pounds. No problem there. 200. 250 foot pounds. 300. 350. So listen, we always run this for 10 seconds, but if the uh, socket is starting to move, the faster is starting to move, we let it go ahead and finish that. If it's not moving after 10 seconds, we will shut it down. So now we're at 400 foot pounds. So again, it was moving before 10 seconds, so we let it finish. 450 foot pounds. So again, we're at 450. By the way, I think my fastener here is starting to gall up a little bit. I just replaced this one here, and I believe one of these here, because this one I think took longer than this one did, and I think I've seen that. So we will test that, but I'm pretty sure that's why that one was slower, is those threads are starting to gall. So every once in a while, we do have to replace these fasteners. So I have to replace uh, one of these right here. But anyway, so we're at 450 foot pounds, and it's done that. Uh, let's see, we're still at a full battery. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this last one and we're going to run it up to 500 foot-pounds. And that's really all these smaller fasters will take. And then we're gonna jump to this one and go 550 and 600. All right, so we're still on speed three. We still got a full battery. I'm gonna try this one at 500 foot pounds for 10 seconds. <laughs> so 
So ever so slightly, it was moving. Now I did take like 16 seconds there to finally break free, but I did see it moving, so I gave it a shot. Now we're gonna jump up to 550 foot-pounds. This is a bigger socket, and many times it will not be able to make that jump. And we're still at three bars, so we'll leave it on. So here we go, the Durafix half inch at 550 foot-pounds with the larger faster. Nope, didn't get it. I even gave it 15 seconds to do so. So wouldn't quite do the 550, did get the 500. So still a pretty big step for this little guy. Okay, so we didn't quite hit our 590 mark. We also didn't quite hit the 369 mark on the tightening force. Now let's go back to how we measure torque. And that is on an impact wrench, it's virtually impossible. Anybody that tells you they can actually measure torque from an impact wrench, they're probably just outright lying to you because there are no standards in the tool industry when measuring impact wrenches and impact drivers. And that's why those numbers are all over the board. So when we look at these things, we got to kind of put it in a window to see, are they lying to us? Are they underrating it, overrating it, what have you? Because again, they really don't tell us how they measure so that we can match that. So we do the best of our abilities to kind of match that real world testing so that you'll actually see. So did we hit 590 with it or were we able to remove a bolt at 590 foot pounds? No, we weren't. Uh, we couldn't even do 550. We did do 500, but again, when we jumped from 500 to 550, we went to a lot bigger faster. Those smaller fasteners won't even hold that type of torque. So we have to go to that larger faster. So that's a totally different test, if you will, when you look at the size, the mass, and everything else. So it's not just a linear jump, if you will. I'm not trying to take up for the tool, but just explaining that measuring torque on an impact wrench is not just an easy ball game. So did we hit 590? No. Did we hit 500? Yes. And was it pretty impressive? And yes. But wait a second. First, let, let's jump right into price and warranty. Price on this is $179. As you see it, tool, battery, and the charger, $179, and you get a one-year warranty on this. So really, it's in a world of its own when you look at price and features, especially when you look at the auto modes it has. As I explained over there on the test rig, the important thing to me is, is, is that we stay below that number. What I don't want to see is this tool tightening more than it says because if you're using this to run down some critical fasteners and then come back with your torque wrench, that's where I see a tool like this being very useful. Whether that be lug nuts, whether, whether that be main caps, uh, you know, cylinder heads, uh, crankshafts, what have you, being able to run these down and making sure you're not going over a certain range, that's where I think it's useful. We come back with your torque wrench, you finish tightening those to spec as you're supposed to, and you're good to go. So I'm not looking at this for to be that precision tool. So it did stay below those numbers that it stated, and we got very close to what they're stating as far as removing. So again, I'm not trying to take up for this so much as to say that I still see it well within the window of us saying, yeah, this is a great tool, especially when you look at the price and look at the country of origin, Taiwan. The batteries and the tools are made in Taiwan. They're not made in China. Not a lot of tools that you can say that about anymore, especially when you look at power tools. So check out the Durafix. Again, it's the RI20174. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you liked our video? And by all means, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.